Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I am your host, David Streggy, and today I have another review for you um, of a film from 2011 um, that was put together by director Caleb Emerson, who has done a cult classic um, film, at least in my book, a uh, 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 book. Um, called Die, You Zombie Bastards. And he was in Poltergeist, Night of the Chicken De uh, Dead, with as Carl Jr. Um, and he... And Die, You Zombie Bastards was a film that uh, was from 2005. Uh, so uh, uh, um, it's been four years since uh, th uh, that film, and he's still in the world of the weird. So he ends up... doing a script that was written by Marta S. Dorado, who had actually worked in the makeup department of Poltergeist of, uh, of the Night of the Chicken Dead. And um, he ended up uh, going out to get the actor Tommy Pistol, who goes under the stage name of uh, Aramis Sartorio, or maybe that's his real name. But um, the film Frankie in Blunderland, which is the uh, the title of it, was picked up by Wild Eye Releasing, and uh, it involves a couple that is married, and evidently he uh, the uh, husband whose name is Frankie Bellini. Um, he's kind of a Kind of a weakling. Uh, 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 his w uh, wife, uh, Katie Apfelschwanza, is played by Thea Martin, who is the only non-American uh, actress in or actor in the in the film. Um, and she treats him like shit, and evidently is bored with her life with him. But. Um, Apparently, Frankie has a friend uh, by the name of Tommy Spiach, or Spiach, who has moved in with the, uh, uh, them and evidently is not liked by Katie uh, either. <laughs> so when Spiach hatches a plan to kidnap Katie, from a Frankie. Frankie ends up uh, going on a journey in an alternate uh, L uh, version of L.A., which is where they live, and end up, and he ends up meeting a lot of weird other people as well as speaking to. Uh, butterfly fairies and uh, robot wenches and uh, Mormon aliens <laughs> and uh, holy hobos. So ultimately, it's like a it's like he has a constant battle with his uh, with his wife, and his wife doesn't like either one, uh, one uh, either Tommy nor Frankie, and she ends up, you know, freeing herself from being kidnapped. There's a Mormon who is evidently populating the Earth, or trying to populate the Earth, um, with females at a party, and later on he does hook up with a female. And uh, it turns out that evidently one of the uh, guys who takes care of flowers in apparently the backyard of a store that Tommy works or Tommy 
is at, is actually, in fact, an alien as well. The guy who kidnapped Katie to begin with. And somehow, it seems like Frankie uh, imagines that he speaks to a spider who lives in his walls, who is played by Devi Rashan. And I think my, my favorite part in here is the but, uh, butterfly, which is uh, played by Kevin Stone. He just flies in the window, and you can see his schlong hanging out. I thought the acting was kooky, over the top. Definitely uh, the film was corny, and it never really made it made any sense, which I th uh, think that was the point of the film, that, uh, that nothing is supposed to make sense. It says on the cover that today is stupid. And the day was, in fact, stupid. So this was... It, it, it descri uh, the back of the film describes the, uh, the film as an acid trip. And in a sense, it is. I mean, uh, you, you have this husband and wife duo. They're fighting. Um, they don't get along. He's not exactly sure, uh, uh, sure what he wants anymore. And... Uh, when he meets all these uh, different characters, including a neighbor that uh, um, has a puppet boy for a son that he doesn't even think is his. Uh, <laughs> it's hilarious. I mean, it, I mean, there, uh, they, there are some funny moments in the film, um, but it is just odd. It is beyond weird. And, there's something about it that I that I like. I mean, I can't describe what uh, how. I mean, it, it just meshes in an odd sort of way and in a weirdness that is rather likable. So, I mean, I enjoyed the madness of it all. I, I mean, you don't really uh, get a sense of where it's going entirely and uh, it leaves you kind of in a mess about what exactly did really happen <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm just gonna put it out there that this is a weird film and uh there's just something about the characters that uh, that uh, were um so annoying that, uh, that it was hard not to keep on watching the film. So, um, in any case, there's my description of this uh, 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 film. Um, you can definitely find the film for yourself. Um, whether or not there w uh, was an entire, you know, reason for this movie <laughs> i don't really know but uh the writer of the film actually died shortly after the um uh, the filming uh, so i uh, i feel for that person um but uh in any case uh definitely check this film out on your own um like and subscribe to my page if you have not um it was definitely a weirdly weird and entertaining movie and uh, I think that uh, those who like to die, you zombie bastards, will enjoy this film, even though it was uh, uh, directed in 2011. I, th I, think it, um, I think it's a good party movie. So in any case, um, definitely check my other reviews out, and uh, hopefully um, I'll have some more cool reviews for you later down the road.